As more U.S. sanctions are put in place, Russia has reportedly boosted its military activity near the Ukrainian border. The BBC reports the U.S. froze the American assets of seven pro-Russian leaders in eastern Ukraine as part of the new sanctions as the crisis between Russia and Ukraine continues. At the same time, Bloomberg reports Russia has ordered 65,000 of its troops to be on alert and take part in military drills, which are reportedly Russia's largest since the nation took over the Crimean Peninsula earlier this year. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko declared a ceasefire with pro-Russian rebels Friday, though the rebels reportedly aren't complying and Russia has kept its troops just miles away from the border. But RT notes the Kremlin released a statement on its website Saturday saying Russia's president supports Poroshenko's ceasefire and has called for Russian forces to stop, quote, battle actions. According to the Wall Street Journal, Russian President Vladimir Putin has blamed Ukraine's government in Kiev for increased tensions. Still, Russia's military activity has come with plenty of criticism. NATO released comments from its secretary general. I consider this a very regrettable step backwards and it seems that Russia keeps the option to intervene further. There could be more sanctions against Russia in the next few days. The country's economy has stumbled in the last few months as the West closes off economic ties with Russia. European Union leaders will decide Thursday and Friday whether to tack on even more sanctions. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs.